Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip. Um, a very good question indeed. What the difference, what's the difference between log 5 times 2 versus log 5 times log 2? Now there's a lot of properties, weird properties. A lot of my students think it's weird. Saying that if you have the log multiplication, you're supposed to split it up and add it. Okay, now this is all fine and dandy. But over the years, um, one of the best questions I had a student ask is actually, why is that? Why do we have this strange property? Because it doesn't really make sense. And the student is right. That doesn't make sense because the way logarithm was developed, it was no longer covered in any textbooks. So over the years, you're forced to, to pretty much just memorize it. This does kind of remind me a story I once heard about a little girl watching her mother cooking turkey on Thanksgiving. Her mother chops the two ends off of the turkey and before putting in the frying pan. And so the little girl says, why do you do that? It doesn't make sense. Here, I found a picture of, it's not a little girl. But anyway, so the story goes, the mother said, well, I don't know why I do that, because my mother does that. So the little girl got on the phone and asked, Grandma, why do you chop off the end of the turkey before you put it in the frying pan? And the grandma says, well, I don't know that either. My mother used to do that. Why don't you get on the phone and ask my mother? So the little girl got on the phone and asked, after some trouble, getting great-grandma to understand what she was trying to say. Great-grandma had answered. Great-grandma says, oh, that was easy. One year, the great-grandma said, I went to got a chick, uh, not chicken, turkey, and it was on sale. So the great-grandma said, I got the largest one I can find. And when I got home, the turkey I got it was too big for my frying pan. And that's why I've been cutting the ends off. Now, so the story says basically, why is that true? Well, it's true now because you're cutting the ends off. Your teacher told you to do that. Mathematically, there's actually a pretty good reasoning to do that. Way before calculator comes in, for a large number multiplication, let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 times 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, right now, it's no big deal. You just punch on your calculator, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 5, 6, 7, 8. You have answer readily coming out. And the answer I did earlier was 7006652. Okay. Now, way before calculator, your only option is, number one, do it by hand. Number two, get this big thing, literally a thick thing called a logarithm entry tables. There's thousands of pages in there. And you go in there, you actually find this number. And that's 3.0913. I don't have that book anymore. But the justification or the method still stays true. Actually, when I teach logarithm, I actually have my students go through this exercise. And then after the exercise, you so much appreciated the calculator you have in your hand. All right, so what I did is here, you go in there, you find this entry one, two, three, four, and then you find an entry five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you know this is in thousands places, so it's 3.7542. So the entry in there is actually 0 0.5, it's actually 5.678. And because it's thousands times 10 to the third, the three gets into here. Those are the minor details. Anyway, when you get this number, and then you go to the back of the book, the second half of the book is log inverse entries. Okay, so once you get the log, and then you go find log entry. So you go log inverse, you find 8.8455, and then 6, 10 to the 6 is in the front. You multiply those two, okay? That's supposed to give you the answer to the multiplication of 1, 2, 3, 4 times 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, so far, it looks pretty tedious and complicated, and I don't blame you. If you had done this one time, you would appreciate it. Okay, so this is what I do. In the back end of the log entry, you'll find it 0 0.8455, so you take the decimal portion, you go in there, find the entry, and you write it over here. The first number gets to be the 
exponents. I know if it's getting long and tedious and boring, you stay with it for a little while and we're almost there. And then you multiply it out. So this whole number becomes 7006482. Okay, compared to the actual answer. Actual is actually you calculate it and you put punch into your calculator. I have a 7006652. So The significant digits is only good to the uh, four decimals, basically. Okay, so now this is a long and tedious explanation why logarithm is there, but this kind of story back then, why grandma was chopping the turkey off in the first place. Okay, so back on to this answering this question. Why is log five times two not the same as log five? times log 2. Well, the reason is that this, this is the grandma's chicken, this is log 5, you add it to log 2. Okay, once you find that, you're going to do the inverse to find that 5 times 2 equal to 10, basically. All right. Now on this side, log 5 and log 2, this is just literally two decimals multiplied. Six point nine eight seven times zero point three zero one zero. This is just two multiplications. Versus here is actually log adding. All right. Hopefully I haven't confused you much more. And um, this is why we do log. Even with calculator nowadays, mathematically it doesn't make sense to, to do log this way anymore. But still, here we go. We still do it. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam. If the video has been helpful, I appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.